This is it. This is the banana box test you've been waiting for for several years. We finally have a Tesla Model 3 here and I have a bunch of banana boxes. So again, let's open the trunk and show you how it looks like. So the Model 3 is fairly long, but not that tall. So naturally they have a very deep trunk. And what the heck, there's some stickers there. Uh, okay. And okay, some people also notice that uh, the finish looks kind of weird, but who cares? I mean, it's just the inside of the trunk. Who's gonna look at it anyway? Most of the time you see it from here. Yeah, so less weight is good. Yeah, I'm not trying to protect Tesla or anything. Just from my perspective, all right? And then we have this one, a nice deep well for putting more cargo. So um, let's just pack as many boxes as possible in the trunk then. Okay, first test, let's see. How many did we fit in here? Um, one, two, one, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six is as expected actually because it's um, it's not a hatchback, so you don't have that extra space over that the partial shelf. So, all right, now let's fold the seat and see how many we can get in there. Ooh, okay, I try to pack as many as possible in here without ruining the interior. And the problem, of course, with Model 3 versus pretty much all the other cars I've tested is that this is the hatchback. You have a small opening. So actually, I think this time I will not play the chipmunk. I will show you the problem with Model 3 and then we also start counting. So if you look in the trunk here, uh, I can only fit these many. Yes, uh, see there's some, some space here that could be utilized. So of course, this is the banana box test. These are the rules. If you put regular luggage, you will be able to fit in more. And you see here, we have space here that hasn't been utilized. You can put like charging cable or small bag or something in there. All right, so let's count. Okay, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six. Okay, and you see I couldn't fit in more. There's still some leftover space there. That's six. And then let me show you the problem in here. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay. Uh, the problem is that there is some leftover space, but I simply cannot put them in here because because normally you know I would load in the big back door and push everything in, but. Here, I cannot put it in the side. I cannot put it in the back. So, all right, that was 11. And then how many did we have on this side? 12, 12 16. So you see, <laughs> only 16. So this is very disappointing because um, the car could probably take 18 if we could load them in. Uh, so 16 is, you see in the list, not very high for such a somewhat large car. So even, uh, even uh, it <laughs> was again, uh, the IMEF has 16 also. Yeah, but you know, this is the reality. Yeah, with, uh, with the choice that Tesla made. So unfortunately, it's like this. All right, anyway, I think that'll be it. Yeah, the banana test, the long weighted banana test. So I hope you guys enjoy this video as always. Thank you for watching and talk to you later. Oh, by the way, I almost forgot it. The frunk, yes. I tend to test all these other cars that don't have a frunk. So let's see. I took out that one, all right. Let's, oh, will it this? will it fit? Will it blend? I can even just put it, put it in here. Oh, okay, let's, let's see if it closes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, okay, at least one in the front then, so that will make it 17.